city dead for a thousand years. A city I had to see with my own eyes. The end of Yuna's journey. The last chapter in my story. My thoughts, they kept floating up and then slipping through my fingers. Slipping away before I could pin them down with words. Yuna, I say no. If we go down there, then you'll... Riku. You're a true friend, and I thank you, but I must go down to Sanarkand. I'm not saying we shouldn't go, but shouldn't we think about it some more? There's got to be some kind of way we can save you, Yuna! All my life, I knew this moment would come. Thank you, Riku. Thank you for everything. Don't say that, Yumi. It's not over yet. Tell Sid. Thank you. No. You can tell him yourself. Again, okay? Kimari, let's go. Sir Oren, Kimari told me, when my father wanted me taken from Bavel to Besaid, it was you who told Kimari, right? I had always wanted to meet you someday. 
I am truly glad that I had that chance. Having you as a guardian was so great an honor. I don't know how to thank you. Perhaps, if I defeat Sin, that will be my thanks to you. That's what I'll do. Yes. I will challenge Sin. I will defeat Sin. If you are all there watching this, then I guess Sin is already gone. And so am I. I suppose. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say, Sir Orin, I thank you. Kimari, <laughs> do you remember the first day we met? I was only seven. My father had defeated Sin, and all Bavel was celebrating. Everyone was saying what a hero my father was. I was so happy. But when night came, it occurred to me. My father had defeated Sin, and now he was dead. Now I was all alone. I couldn't sleep. So I wandered into the town, away from the celebrating crowds. I stood on the bridge in Bavel, where my father and I had parted. Standing there, alone, I could see the fields where he had fought Sin. Then, you appeared, Kamari. You said you were looking for the daughter of Braska, remember? At first, I was so scared until I realized what a gentle person you are. <laughs> you weren't used to talking to children. When I told you that I was Braska's daughter, you said you would take me as far from Bavel as you could. That it was the wish of a man facing death. I think I cried then, because that that was when I knew my father was dead, and I would never see him again. You just held me, without saying a word. I cried after we got to Besaid, too. When you tried to go, after leaving me in the care of the temple, I held on to you crying, don't go, don't go. And you listened, Kimari. You stayed. Kimari, thank you. Thank you so much. And I've always liked your broken horn. Waka, Lulu. I'll never forget my days spent with you, growing up in Besaid. We always played together, us and Chapu. That's why I was always so happy, I think. And when you refused to let me become a summoner, and I did it anyway, I'm sorry. I've always wanted to apologize. You know, when you tried to stop me then, really, I was happy. I could tell you really cared about me. You were like my big brother and sister. No, I think you really were my big brother and sister. <sighs> what else? <laughs> I love watching you play Blitzball, Waka. <laughs> I even love it when you scold me, Lulu. <laughs> really. I guess that leaves the newest guardian. Star player of the Xanarkand Abes. You are... I am... Well... I'm glad... I'm glad that we met. We haven't even known each other that long, but... It's funny. So... So this is what it feels like. It's a much more wonderful feeling than anything I had ever imagined. Wonderful. But it hurts sometimes. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. I... <laughs> I just want to say 
Thank you for everything. <laughs> maybe... Maybe that's why it hurts. When I... When I think about us never being together again at all... I'm afraid. No, I shouldn't say that. I'll do that part over. Um... What you up to? Listen to my story. This may be our last chance. There was more, right? I mean, like that time... Uh, anyone? I think... Yes? I think that we should stop. Maybe... For now. Let's go. 